Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video we're going to be making a weather station bracket. Uh, the one that was on the weather station before got broken by a tree limb when it fell on it. It's a pretty simple part. It's two pieces, a couple little profiles, a little boss built in, a couple holes drilled. It's not a very long project. It only took a few minutes to mill out. We're talking think a total of like 30 minutes total. It's not a big deal. And then I did a little hand work that I apparently didn't catch on GoPro because it was in camera mode instead of uh, video mode. Uh, so please watch and if you like the video uh, hit that up like button and please subscribe and on with the show. For some reason that uh, the video shut off mid cut, kind of bummed about that. That was a pretty impressive cut I've done on this 
Um, it's the first time I've actually cut three millimeters in depth of cut before on this machine. And that was uh, 18,000 RPMs at 800 millimeters a minute doing a three millimeter depth of cut and a three millimeter width of cut. And it, it chewed right through. And I'm really loving that Lakeshore aluminum shredder carbide uh, end mill. It's just awesome and I can't recommend it enough. And not even sponsored by them, and I, I I buy them all the time. I love them. It's actually a really really well uh, priced uh, end mill at that. It's like twenty five dollars an end mill, and in the home shop it should last you quite a long time if you don't abuse it and bang it. Well, here it is installed on the post on my grape trellises. Got to fix a couple of uh, sprinkler drippers. They uh, blew out yesterday when I was testing the system, so I have to reattach a couple of half gallon hour drippers. That should take a couple minutes. All right, I'll be back with you guys inside in a minute. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit more of a shorter one compared to what I've been making lately. Uh, I think this is like a sub 15 minute video which sometimes it's nice just to make a shorter video but um, next video is I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing yet I'm waiting for a piece of material to come in to do the giveaway item um, I'm also going to be testing O1 tool steel in that video so that one's going to be a more complex video to begin with so I just want to make sure that I have everything I need before I start it um, so I'm not really sure what next video is going to be about I might just discuss some of the tools that a home shop should probably look for and what to avoid and what not to avoid but again hope you enjoyed the video and see you next week